We just finished testing the Cutwater 242 Sport Coupe. Now this is their new model, it's all open. Check out the top here is open, the back's open, we have side vents here. It's uh, really uh, bring the outside inside pretty much. But you can also get a generator with this, so if you, need, you want air conditioning, you can do that as well. We're powered by a Yamaha F300, which gave this, uh, this is like a mini yacht, gave a really nice performance. We got on plane in 5.7 seconds to 30 miles an hour in 16 seconds flat, and our top speed was 45 miles an hour, which is moving right along for a 4,900 pound boat like this. But you know, this thing is, feels really big, but it's still trailable at eight foot six inches. So um, it's a nice little package. Take it, plop it in the water. You can go anywhere with this thing. Let's head back to the dock and check out some of the features of this boat. One cool feature is on this hull, it's a double step model, which gives you better uh, um, fuel economy and performance, but it's also got laminar flow interrupters, which kind of uh, release the hull from the bottom of the water. You know, that surface tension that wants to keep you sucked down there? Check this out. It's like a little ski boat. All right, we have some really cool features here in the stern. This is one of the slickest things I've seen in a long time. All right, so you got your grill here. Now, it eats up a lot of real estate, and I mean, this is a fishing boat. It, uh, so, what you do is you can just take it out, and there's your live well. How cool is that, man? And then you can just stow this in the cabin when you're fishing. Very slick. And then you have your uh, transom seat here, flips down. And you have a cooler over here for entertainment. So it's like one-stop shopping. Now this boat's a multitasker for sure. And when it's time to go skiing or tow the kids around on tubes, just uh, pull up the ski tow. This seat here is a very cool innovation here. It's uh, part of the uh, salon here, but when you're in like fishing mode, trolling, this is a nice little throne here for sure. Wait, I think I got a bite. Hey, I love this uh, companion starboard side seat. It's another uh, trolling seat or just hanging out kind of seat. Uh, very nice. This boat has some really cool standard features like the hot water uh, uh, shower tank down here. Very nice. One of the great options in this boat is the Westerbeek generator. It's a gas generator, so you don't need the diesel. It's a little pricey at 15000 but you can have air conditioning. What's that worth, right? Now this is something you don't see on a regular boat. This really is in keeping with its yacht-like uh, features. The Holly Antique uh, table here, for dinette. It, you can actually drop it down to form a berth here, but what a great location. And we see Holly Antique throughout the whole cabin here. This boat is loaded with standard features like the Nova Cool refrigerator. This boat is ready for entertainment. The standard stereo on this is a fusion uh, system with six speakers and a subwoofer. That's all standard. Here at the helm we have uh, like a glass cockpit kind of look here with the Garmin GPS map uh, 7610. You have your Yamaha uh, gauges here. This is actually real carbon fiber, uh, kind of a theme you're going to see in this boat. Uh, most boats you see these days it has, you know, faux everything. But real carbon fiber, real wood wheel, it's the real deal I think they call it. You know, this is a this is with one of the biggest sub 24 foot boats if you don't count the pulpit and the uh, engine bracket here. So it's nice to have this optional Lumar thruster here, so you can just maneuver the uh, bow around and dock it like a pro. The cabin features many big boat features like the stand up head compartment, and there's a high low dining room table that drops down to form a nice V berth for weekending. For more information on the Cutwater 242 Sport Coupe and other great boats, go to BoatingWorld.com. I'm Alan Jones and we'll see you out on the water.